Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Why am I so much louder than you? I don't know. Um, we're back. And I decided to not film the opening of the presents, mainly because as we were setting it all up, it felt like very inauthentic and it wasn't genuine at all, I felt. I felt like I was trying to get the right shot. We were trying, it just, it wasn't about the present at that moment. It was more about getting the right shot for it being online. And that's not really what I was trying to do. Um, so I made this, let me turn my phone. So I made the suggestion that we just open presents. And she agreed. Um, so we are not gonna show that. Sorry for all those. 10 people who had their hopes up. Um, but, Sorry. I mean, it is what it is. So, let's talk about the progress first and then we can go to the Christmas summary. So, this week, um, everything's just getting better week by week at this point. Like, I'm really flat. I'm starting to, like, kind of be feeling myself. So, that's good. Um, yeah, like... Everything's good. I, I can't complain. I really can't. Like, it's not perfect. It took a hell of a lot longer than I was hoping it would take. But, like, everything's good. I think it's 11 weeks today. 10, 11, 12. I don't know. It's and like... Anyway, between you and I, you would be the one who would know the timing. Of. I think it's 11. So... Yeah, I can't complain. It's really good. Dr. Tanasia sent me a Merry Christmas text, which I thought was very sweet. Um, so I sent him one back and just let him know I was actually feeling really good. And I'm excited. I'm excited to start wearing clothes that, you know, show off my curves a little bit and all that. So it's all good. Go ahead yeah, she had there. on some see-through stuff yesterday. I had to check her. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I wasn't going to wear it out, but yeah, I was very see-through. My little $3.49 Walmart tank tops. I was like, ah, well, what, are you go what are you doing with that? <laughs> Going to my dad's house. Yeah, I'll leave it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is going to be a, a thing. So, um, we're going to do, in the next video, we're going to do the list. I was slacking. Well, I was rapping. I wasn't slacking. I was busy. I was rapping and I was shopping because Lord knows that I will shop until I drop for Christmas. And I buy more and more and more. I think I said this last time. I keep buying stuff until Christmas. And then at Christmas, I go, oh, I have a lot. Good. And then I, it takes me 100 years to wrap. So, like, Christmas Eve day, I wrap, I shopped, actually. And then I wrapped all day long. And by the time I actually finished wrapping, it was time for Santa to come. And Mateo was very happy and all that. So, yeah. It was Question. Good. Santa, do you still tell your kids that Santa Claus is coming? And Santa Claus is the reason why they're getting gifts. Or like, how do you guys do that? Like, at what age would you... Tell your kids there's no Santa or like, how do you how do you how do you play that in? Or would you be mad if your kid went to school and someone at school told your kid that there wasn't a Santa Claus and now you're dealing with that? Like, would you actually be upset? I'm sure that's how like 50 percent of kids find out that there's no Santa. Yeah. But for so for us, I don't have a set day because I've only had two kids and like 15 years apart. But like. My mom broke the news to Des. In fact, she killed all her hopes and dreams in one day, like Tooth Fairy, Santa, Easter Bunny. Because, like, my kids believe in all of those things. I even made up some... <laughs> I made up one, the Halloween fairy, who Mateo could trade in his candy and get, like, a gift instead because I just didn't want him having all that candy. And then I would take the candy to work and buy him, like, a game or whatever he wanted. But, like, that one kind of fizzled. But he still does believe in the Tooth Fairy, 
the Easter Bunny, Santa. And I love doing it. It's so fun. And he's eight. He'll be nine in March. So I don't know when that's going to end. <laughs> and then I won't have more babies to do it for. I could do it for Alessia and Alina. And then and then I have the two grandkids. And once he finds out, he's going to be bitter and want to tell them. And I'm like, but you can't because that's how this works. Like, at least for us. The fat white guy comes in. And he leaves a couple gifts and he fills stockings. That's what Santa does here. Like he doesn't, all the gifts are not from Santa. And the gift, like the expensive gift that Mateo really, really wanted was from me, not Santa. So, oh. Well, that's good. Because I I don't feel that an old white man with a white beard should be taking credit for your hard-earned workings and all that stuff. So me personally, I would... They coming from me, but obviously there's traditions that people have. So. And some people have them really stronger than yeah. other people. And we'll probably try to fight you if you do not. <laughs> well, did your was there any kind of Santa? No. For your daughter? No. Not at all. No. Did she ask about him? No. Huh. Mm. Because I'm pretty sure Des would still take Santa gifts if she could. There's well, I mean, it's the gift aspect of it, but the whole. I'm going to go to sleep so Santa can come down the chimney that, like, how does he get in houses without chimneys? Like, this is... He has a key. We um, live in a condo. He has a key. Exactly. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I get another year of Santa and then and then he finds out. I'll have well, to I, I, I am not going to spoil it for him. We're going to do whatever you want to do. But I just... I always wonder, like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, okay. So there's that. I guess we can talk a little bit about the Christmas. I was not here um, in the morning because I had to go to church and work the sound. And then I went to my mom's and then I came here. Um, and, well, 530, almost six o'clock. And we didn't even open the presents right away because we were trying to figure out that she made dinner and I was trying to set up like the lights. Like this is, it was too much. I made lasagna. You want a lasagna? I made lasagna from my YouTube auntie's recipe. Lasagna was pretty good too. It didn't give me heartburn either. That was great. She's really, she really has some good stuff on her channel. So yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It well, all started with grits. Yeah. The grits is bomb. Yeah, this is YouTube on Auntie. I'm, about, I'm actually going to start looking on her channel just so I can, like a menu. Like, all right, tonight, can we make? Because I might not know how to make it, but if I watch someone make it, I got it. Like, I'll know it forever, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we can start talking about what people wanted to know, especially your friends. What? Like, what did he get you? Did he get you something good? Did he, <laughs> did he this? Did he that? Well, it was so... Night, nice. like it was not. I rather I preferred how we did it because it was just like between us, and we weren't like, oh my god, what's the angle and is the light good? And he actually sat in a chair right here, and I sat right there on the ground, and we went back and forth with trading gifts, and it was so special. And I was so nervous to open the first gift. I don't know why it's been a really long time since. Um, I've been in like a relationship and so and I was so excited to give him all his gifts I really like put so much thought into getting stuff that he wanted and I asked his friends and some of his friends reached out to me so yeah every he did he did great I think he did great do you want me to like go into it well this is this is these are your friends that wanted to know this. This is true. So he got me this pretty cross necklace, which is um, exactly what, like I had one very similar before that broke. Did I tell you it? I told you that? No. You just, so she's just subscribed, subscribe. She <laughs> described what, subscribe, yes, subscribe. See, I was just trying to get it. <laughs> um, I remember when you were talking about the kind of chain you wanted, I, I envisioned it immediately, exactly, because I've seen it before. Yeah, see, I like very simple stuff. So this is like a sideways cross and it's got little diamonds in it and and it's perfect. And then he got me a second one as a backup 
in case this one breaks, that I can still wear it while it's getting fixed. And because he's a practical man. I was like, I'm a man and I feel like I'm always trying to solve a problem. And I got this insurance on it. But if it broke, then you would be without. And you say you this is something you want to wear all the time. Yeah, like I'll never take it off. So if it breaks and then she has to get it, take it back to get it fixed, then she would be without one, correct? So the logical thing to do is to buy two. Was to buy two. <laughs> so you got one sitting in the box. I do. I asked out. him if like that's the case with all jewelry that he might get me. <laughs> well, we, well, um, we're just going to talk about this necklace. <laughs> yeah, so she got two of those. Um, and then there was like a, a massage set because I love massages. Mm-hmm. And um, it was more for me to give her a massage. Yeah, so that was like the thought behind that was amazing because I'm always like, will you rub me? And my neck, my neck always hurts. When I'm stressed out, my neck is the worst. And she's already, she, that night she cashed in on that one. <laughs> And then he printed out, oh, I should have got the picture. He printed out a Christmas picture of us. Oh, you can just put it in. You can pop it right here. No, I feel like. Is that the thing? I feel like we should have got it. We should have got it. It's not even on the wall yet. Want me to go grab it? Yeah, you can cut all this out. Well, no, you can just talk to him while I go grab it. Okay. So he printed out a big picture of a selfie we took in the mall. Oh, that's like looking at I know you gotta cut that part out and it was so sweet and he when he gave it to me when he printed it out he was like I also have one for my house so um so that was sweet and then he got me oh and there was like a ton of candy in there like M&M's and gummy bears and better eat it all before the first cause this your girl is about to be Working out. So here's our picture. And he printed it and framed it. I love it. Yeah. And then. That's the more camera. Yeah, yeah. And then he also got me a laptop bag because he saw me packing up my stuff at his house and I was like don't put too much stuff in there because the laptop's not going to fit and so all of the things he got was very thoughtful and um, I could tell he you know I could tell he really cared about it and he tried very hard so yeah oh and an Uber Eats gift card yeah because every- I've, I've been running up my Uber Eats bill like every morning she's like always talking about oh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm about to Uber Eats some cough I'm like okay well because <laughs> Mateo loves the sausage sandwich from Starbucks I need to get him hooked on like the Jack in the Box one or something so it could be like two dollars instead of five but so it's easy for me in the mornings on a school day to wake up order coffee order hot chocolate order the sandwich and then 30 minutes later, right as he wakes up, there's breakfast on the doorstep. But I need to stop because it's getting expensive. Yeah. Well, um, she did good. Um, everything except one of the items. Like, when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> I did need that. I did need that. I did like that's what like that's what I kept saying like, dang, I was talking about that or you know what I'm saying like that was you did you did a real good job on the things you got that I was just like I did need that like, <laughs> <laughs> and that was dope. Yay. That was dope. Um, you want to know what it was? Let me know. It's up to you. You can tell. Um, one was uh, I was I've been talking about. Um, putting cameras up on my back door, front door, my living room, because I do have a studio and I do have clients that come to my house. And a lot of times I'm working and they finish recording, then they want to go to the back and they want to smoke. So I don't let them smoke in my house. So they're literally walking through my downstairs to the back patio to smoke and I can't see them. So I always kept saying, I need to put I need to put some cameras up so I can see everything while I'm upstairs. So and I've been talking about doing that for like a year and just never did it. And we even went to the store and I was and I, well, I saw cameras at the store and I started looking. I'm like, damn, I, I, I should 
should probably do that. And, and I already it, had them at that point in my possession, and I was like, don't buy anything until after Christmas. Yeah, she did say that. She <laughs> was like, really... don't buy anything until after Christmas. I was like, oh, all right, whatever. But yeah, yeah. So that was that was definitely good. Um, a drill set, which I always borrow from my partner, and... <laughs> She talked to him and he was like, get him a drill set. And I'm, I was weak because I'm pretty sure he was thinking like, <laughs> he doesn't have to come borrow mine anymore. So get him a drill set. And once I, once she told me she talked to him, I knew it was going to be right because he has the same drill set that I have now. And I knew it was going to be right. So. I was like, send me a link or something. And so he sent me the link and I had Googled it and I found like a couple different but similar ones and he sent me the model number. Oh yes, yeah. So yeah, he wasn't playing. <laughs> like he he was gonna make sure I had the exact ones. That's 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 what's good about hollering them a pot. They they know he knew because if you would have did that on your own, you probably would have walked in there. It was like I need a drill set, and then they would have probably tried to. Ugh. God only knows what I would have walked out of there with. Yeah. Drivers and <laughs> I would have had everything to go goggles. They would have bet you need this. I would be like, okay, you say I need it. Yeah. So that was good. Uh, Shouts out to my brother Justin. Um, my boy Diz, you want to grab that? So this one, I think out of all of them, this one I did not see coming at all. So I want to say this has to be ten years old, easy. Then shot easy. This I, I released this mixtape. Probably 10 years ago or maybe more. I don't know. But when I saw it, it just brought back so many memories. This was dope. So that was my boy Diz gave you that idea to print this up so I could put this up in my studio. So that was actually, that was good because that brought back like memories for me that you didn't even know were there. But you like, you were able to give that moment to me. So that's dope. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be putting that up. Um, and it actually makes me want to go print out all the like album covers that I've released now. I like to have them like on my wall going up the stairs or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, or, that, or in your man cave one day when, when we live together. So <laughs> she's saying that she wants to be a part of my man cave, like a party room, like a fun room. And I told her it's a man cave, and man. I cave you can visit i'm fun though i want to put so i told her she needs to have a she room or a she shed or a she something so you can have your own situation <laughs> that i can come in and leave out of oh. and you can decorate however you want uh but she's more excited the fact that i've actually started entertaining the conversation of living together that's what she's i know her I thought she was slick. I thought she was slick. I'm not that bad to be around. Not that bad to be around. Okay. Um, You're not that bad to be around either. I also filled up a stocking for him. Yeah. With a bunch of little goodies. Yeah. But the, this one right here is Apple Watch. Because it's in the shot. Yes, it is. Um, also, another thing I've been talking about and contemplating on pulling the trigger on for a very long time. And... We even went to the mall and we even went like explain how you was how smooth you did that. Because my biggest thing about the Apple Watch, which is why I never pulled the trigger on it, is because I don't see a lot of women wearing Apple Watches like men. in my uh, I mean, not a lot. Of, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I don't see a lot of men wearing <laughs> Apple Watches like around me. So when I think of Apple Watch, I usually think of more of a feminine like thing. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if this is this is going to be masculine enough for me. I literally want that's what I wanted to get him first before I before I thought about the cameras before I asked Justin and I even asked him like what do you think about an Apple Watch and he was like I don't know he doesn't really wear watches I don't know and then I asked Diz and he was like I don't know so you got really big fingers. but they always knew that I have a lot of Apple products like so yeah, so, and that's the only, I was, like, not sure because he, you did mention one time, like, oh, it's not, it doesn't seem very masculine. And so I was like, shit. So when we were at the mall, he was like, let's go into the Apple store because I had got Mateo an iPad for Christmas. That was from me, not Santa. And he was like, let's go to the mall and see, or go to the Apple store and you get a case. But he didn't know I meant the case with, like, the bumper guards for, you know, rough children. <laughs> so <laughs> we go in and... 
I, the first thing right there is the Apple Watches. And I was like, this is my freaking opportunity. So I was like, let's just look at these really quick. And then the guy's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah. Does, do these fit his wrist? Because he's like 6'4". So, well, he's not like 6'4". He is 6'4". And so I'm like, is that watch even going to fit around his wrist? And so I was like, can you, let's just try it on. Like, look, what do you think about it? And I'm, <laughs> I'm being dumb. Like, I'm really like, the poor guy. Sorry. Sorry, guy at Apple. He really thought I was going to buy an Apple watch that day if they get commission he was probably like this you know what but yeah and then and then he put it on and I was like does it fit do you like how it looks and he's like yeah I like it and then we were walking out and he was like yeah I think maybe I'll add that to the list of things I want to buy and I was like yes but then (laughs) the one that I wanted to get him which was like the black Nike one with the 45 inch screen that one was sold out everywhere and then it came available on Best Buy on Monday of last week. And it was like, it can get to you by December 24th. And I was like, F it. I'm going to order it. And then I was like, I got one more gift for you coming in the mail. I hope it gets here. And I was so worried because I had another package that was like five days late. But it was FedEx. FedEx sucks. And <laughs> UPS is the best. So it came and he was like super excited so that was exciting for me because yeah when we left that day i think i even said maybe i'll call verizon and see if i can make them give me a deal since i've been there so long i got like i literally said that so i was like yeah maybe i will get one and if there was a way that i could have like gotten into his verizon account i would have tried to order it that way but it was too hard so I got it through never, Best Buy. You would have never. <laughs> I would have figured it out by then. So yeah, I can honestly say everything I opened, I did not have a clue. But it was, it was something that I mentioned that I was gonna buy, and I just didn't have to do it. And because I, because you did it, the the, the gifts were good. Don't get me wrong, they were actually great. But the fact that you listened to me. And you were able to do it. And it caught me off guard because I didn't expect it. That is what, that was good. I just kept saying that. Like, that was good. You did so, I kept saying the whole night, you did so good. Like, this was good. Like, I've never just been so excited to receive gifts. Like, I don't, I mean, He on. said that he has, the was the last time, like, it's been a long time. Yeah. You don't open many gifts. At all. At all. So and, and for that reason, I was like, I wanna like extra make it extra special. And it was our first Christmas. And then I did I got him like more than I probably would have because also I wanted to like thank you for being my rock through this freaking process of healing after my surgery. Like I would have never expected this recovery to go this way like you just don't see that you just see pictures on instagram and it's like four days post-op and they're all flat and they look so good and they just have a little tape on their scar and like it wasn't like that for me at all and he's been the one you know i mean i mean i have other people but like my mom's like going through hard times right now my stepdad passed away and i can't put it on her and so i have been able to put it on you and that was priceless. So I, I, I spoiled him a little extra. Yes, yeah, she did. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of felt bad. You deserve it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I didn't do it. And then I felt it was a little, it was a little leaning towards you spoiling me more than I spoiled you. I also got a bonus, and so I was like, I got a bonus. He got a bonus, like a little extra. I love giving. And making people happy. And so, like, Mateo loved his gift. And it was the sweetest thing ever. And that made me so happy. And then I got Des a vacuum, which I felt a little bad about. But I'm giving her, like, this thing at my gym that she wanted. And it's it's expensive. and But it'll it's good. And so she wanted that. And so I got that. And it was really fun buying for the little girls. Which is, like, you know, my little granddaughters. Because I'm a whole grandma. But, like... Their stuff's not expensive. Like, I could buy them heck of stuff, and it's, like, $200. I don't know. But bottom line grab, is... Grab that right there. I can show them what I was trying to tell you, kid, Mateo. The Simon? Yeah. <laughs> we saw this at Walmart. My thing fell inside there. I got to open the box. 
Y'all remember this game? So I was like, you need to get him this. It's going to teach him how to pay attention and work on his memory. So. And he was like trying to play it. And he was like, this is too hard. And I'm like, you've built entire cities in Roblox and Minecraft. This is not hard. But so we're going to play it together. Yeah, because I mean, these kids, home. these kids and the technology, like obviously we didn't have that. And I feel like that's a, a skill, a motor skill that they're lacking is the real world motor skills. Like you're not on a phone or on a computer yeah. doing things like you got a Rubik's Cube like that. Like, yeah. So I think a lot of kids are lacking that kind of stuff. So hopefully he'll get that one. If not, I'll play with it. Yeah. And we went to my dad's yesterday, and that's, like, really... He's met my dad before, briefly in passing. But that was, like, the first time that we, like, chilled. Mm-hmm. So how was that? That was good. Um, man, like... I mean, I'm an audio engineer, and your dad was, like, big time. You want to talk about it? Yeah, yeah he was an engineer... Um, he opened a studio the same year that I was born in Hayward, I think. I don't think it, he kept it open that long. He ended up working at other people's studios. But yeah, he worked for like MC Hammer and Ralph Tresvent and only people our age or older probably <laughs> know what we're talking about. But yeah, he was he and he also did a lot of work um doing live sound at churches and then he moved to Texas and of course did like a lot of country and he did a lot of gospel and so <laughs> when I first met Erickson I was like oh because I had always kind of said I'm not going to date someone in the music business because I saw that my dad like when everybody else was like having fun on the weekends he's working like that's like kind of when they work like well they work when they can they work when there's business and so and he was like a staff engineer at like a few different places but yeah i always said no nope. and then but then i met you and i was like there's something about him and so and i told him about my dad very early on and i think um he like was like i think i want to take your dad home before i take you home so i can talk to him and ask him questions about studio and this and that so they finally got to do that yesterday and it was like really sweet to see and then my dad like came and shook his hand and said he was such a good guy and i was like oh my gosh so it was very yeah it's very special yeah your dad has a lot of knowledge in his head that he could definitely help like the world like of engineers um maybe you guys can collab and you can help them get some of that out yeah definitely yeah. Definitely. So anyways, it was really sweet. And then we came home and I feel like we slept in yesterday and we got going late, but it was still like a long day and like one of the best days. Mm -hmm. Moved my room around. So I have like a, almost like a new room, it feels like, because we rearranged it. And yeah, it was a good day. It's always a good day with you. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that was our Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. We did the best we could do. So it was um, the best. Yeah, so next is New Year's, so I'm going home today, and then you'll be up Friday, and uh, we'll do something for New Year's. Um, but other than that, that is our update. I don't know what week we're on, set 15, 16? I don't know. Well, no, which part we're on, not week. We're on, like, part number 16, I think. But anyways, um, anything else you want them to know? Because I know we're getting super long. No. Yeah, we are alone right now. <laughs> Hopefully you can cut out some stuff. But yeah, no, if you have any questions, obviously ask, hit us up. We'll answer what we can. And I don't know. Oh, we got to do the thumbnail. Okay, ready? How are we doing it? You going to give me a kiss? Oh, I'm giving you a kiss. <laughs> okay, let me give you one in case. All right, y'all, we out.